the rhinos are hopefully beast day. For human eyes is not a feast, but you will never know. Why nature chose him to make him so ye. Eh? <laughs> well, 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 and I don't, don't mess with me son, I swear I know Krav Magav, whatever that is, some foreign guy, I don't know. Welcome to Seven Eleven. You see the thing is about when you read these things, it's dress it quickly becomes one of Courtney's most popular concert kids with length. As he becomes increasingly fond of Tracy, and less so of Amber, Tracy's popularity earns her a sponsorship from clothes salesman Mr. Pinky, who wants Tracy to be the spokesgirl for his hefty high with Peter. Big dick for plus size women. Tracy convinces her to do a company or the FBI to wait, and that gets her negotiating agent. In the, process brings her, in the process brings her mother's days as a war of food in the end. At school, Tracy basically introduces Seaway to Penny A. And two of her instantly are smitten with each other. And Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. <laughs> Next morning, Tracy sneaks out of the house during a protest march, which comes to a halt at the front of the police road box set up by a film. The entire company of protesters is arrested, <laughs> although Tracy manages to escape, tying a penny to the bed of stairs with a jumper rope. See me then, a few of the other tents of kids have <laughs> This is Tracy's house in order to look for her. He is as much in love with her as she is with him. We all See we kind of shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll try, I've never really been a while over. Uh, seaweed, and the detention kids help Tracy sneak past the police and into the studio in time. To who? All right, uh, Chris, what the heck are you doing? Oh, I have a crowd. I'm doing accents. Got a presence. Accents? Okay. No, 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 it's my lucky charm. She's the last syllable of a good time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools of it to dusty dust. Out, out, beef candle. I am very model of a mother, major general life, information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I call the fights historical, for men found the water in order to be allegorical. During the whole of a dull, dark, and soundless day in the autumn of the year, when the clouds hung oppressively low in the heavens, I had been passing alone on horseback through a singular, dreary tract of country, and at length found myself in the shades of the evening dawn within the melancholy house of Usher. But where's the girl? How many of her that tall? Many of her that I've been sold, but I've been sold. Don't turn that, oh my god. <laughs> when it comes to life by means of voices and words by the actors, is there a belly to arouse the emotion of the playwright's lines that creates the illusion of reality for the audience? Peter. You should do Potter. Goose, goose, goose. Do Forrest Gump. Poison for Goose. My name's Forrest Gump. I want to know how I got these scars. Yeah. My father was so, Chris, a drinker. So, Chris, your assignment is going to be doing every reading in a different accent. And one night... The Mommy the gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. She doesn't like that. Not one bit. Okay. So, what is that? me watching, okay. he takes the knife to her, laughing while she does it. And he says, why so serious? She comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? Sticks the blade in my mouth. Aww. Let's put a <laughs> smile on that face. And... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>